Well, one of the things about the Exchange Award is that it, it is associated with place. And when I threw my hat in the ring as a Washington, D.C. writer, uh, I had moved back to D.C. to do my graduate program, and I did have some ties there from childhood. But I wasn't confident that I would get to be chosen as the DC poet or a DC poet, there were some holdups with the printing of the book. So I had to do my launch reading for the book with no book. And I had a six hour drive to Long Island University. Um, I think they were kind enough to give me an honorarium that just barely covered the tolls in the hotel. And I had to drive back the next day and I, I was kind of, I was kind of beaten. I was, I was, I wanted to be excited, but at the same time, I was thinking maybe, maybe I'm in over my head. And uh, and I had just gotten off the road, and I had curled up in bed. I didn't want to talk to my mom. I didn't want to tell anybody how the reading had gone. I just, and the phone rang, and I thought I'm going to ignore this. And the phone rang again. And I thought no, I'll, I'll, I'll answer. And it was the call telling me that I had won the the exchange award and that I was going to get this chance to go to New York, go to New York proper, go to Manhattan and, and be in the city and meet all of these people. And I just remember thinking, okay, okay, you know, it's, this, this is too early to get discouraged. One of the things that I love about the Exchange Award is that it takes, um, it takes the creative side of writing and it takes the practical side of writing, the publishing and the marketing and the things that I think a lot of writers are kind of embarrassed to admit an interest in and treats it as one holistic world. The idea that I would be given this opportunity to assemble a wish list of not only fellow writers but of agents and of publishers and you know basically anybody who I thought um, might be a powerful influence was incredible. And one of the things that really paid off was that some of the people who I met on paper didn't look ostensibly like a match for me. Uh, they weren't poets. They were, you know, in, in one case, an agent. And poets don't really think about agents. But I said, no, I'm going to give it a shot. And that connection that I made in that meeting changed my life. It, Two years ago, I was somebody working in a, in a good nine to five job, but still a nine to five job who wrote on the side. And today I am somebody who is navigating the world as a full time writer. And it's not easy and it might not be long lived, but it's precious. And I would not be doing it if it were not for that award.